I think we can go ahead and get started. Stan will do the pledge and commission. Oh, yeah, where's the flag? That's Davis will do our prayer. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear Lord, we come to you tonight thanking you for all the many blessings you have given us. We ask, dear Lord, that it was, as we go through the meet, this meeting, be with us as commissioners and mayor. Let us make the decisions that will further your cause here on in your kingdom. We ask that you make, help us make the right decisions that will help our community. And watch over us and guide us. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to our meeting. And we'll go ahead and get started off with the approval of minutes. Make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next to the bills. I have a motion we pay all bills. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Old business. Blue Rest Fast Draw Agreement. Uh, do we want to skip that and talk about it later? Or? I didn't put it on here. Uh, I asked Mary to put it on here last week. The agreement was the Fast Draw was going to pay half the electricity. And Paul said that the contract was already signed now, stating they're not, uh, they're not responsible for any of the electricity in the building. When was the contract? Agreement on March. Um, that was made at the February 26th. And I'll have to take responsibility for this. My understanding when we first talked about it, the building has three phase power in it, and we have an air compressor in that building that pumps air, pipes air over to the buildings we do use. And my understanding was, and my mistake, that I thought we were going to pay the electric because it is overkilling the power from what they need. I talked to them about some of the partial utilities, and I know, of course, they said they're not worried about water hookup and they don't need water or anything. So. Don't they have the toilets up? Hmm? Yeah, no There's no restrooms there. in the building. Do they, we have, do they have to have porta potties? How about anytime you had a function like that, you had to have Well, the when, when they have big stuff, their chutes and stuff, they'll have something oh, coming okay. in. They did get insurance, though, I Yes, guess. we got the certificate of insurance. Okay. And they, they have usually two shoots a month. One's local, and one will have people come in from several areas, and they'll have about four or five big shows a year, which will all be here except for the one state show, which they already had lined up to be at the fort in September, but will probably be moved over to did, our park this did next Did we leave September. it, look at the contract, and approve it? So we did? I did it. I was going to say, if we did, it was all No, I did it. Oh. Did, how, often they, how often do they use the building when they're not having the sheets? Do they ever just go down there for practice and stuff like that? Yeah, a couple times. They'll probably use it three or four times a month. How long was that contract for? Year. And it was signed when? Actually, I think it was signed in June, for the first of June, before we ever got everything signed. What are you utilities for that building? $83 a month. Well, I've got a lot of money. I'm, I, I'm going to worry about that right now. We can renegotiate it next year. If not, so, that's not much to get too bent out of shape over. Who and the whole scheme of things. Are we using part of those utilities? Mm, we haven't used none of the utilities because the air compressor is unhooked. Air compressor is what? It's, it's unhooked. It's not plugged. It's not, not hooked up. It's not plumbed in. So, what kind of utilities? Are they using? Is it just the lights? Just electric? Mm -hmm. And they're probably getting minimum on that, aren't they? You see, it's three phase, which puts it in another bracket. bracket. You know, it's where if, if it was just a regular uh, 220 service, you know, it'd probably be 40 bucks. Yeah, I think it'd be three, like three phase. Since that building's three phase, you know, it puts it in a different bracket. Well, if need be, I'll pay it myself. Well, my my thing is, is no. Is, well, this is my mistake. Are they going to stay there, or are they looking to? I mean, I just was curious. 
or they, I know they like it. Don't get me wrong. I know they like it because I've already talked to a couple of them. They said they really enjoy being down here. Is it something that's going to be a long-term thing where we can negotiate next year and say, look, you know, we're going to have to have at least some payment on this on the because they're getting the building free, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I mean, is it is it part of well, and, on doing and part of this came about because we were trying to keep them here because Owensboro was really working them, trying right. to get them to move to Owensboro, and. Of course, they bring in people for those shoots, and they do a lot of events, and, the, and it's the only sanctioned one in the state of Kentucky, and I hated to lose it to Owensboro, but I hate to lose we it. may just let it go to Owensboro. But. No, we don't want to do that. How many bills have they had so far? Well, they were just signed in June. June, they haven't had their first one. So how, where'd you get the 83? The 83 is what we've been paying. Y'all play the minimum every month? Yes. Yeah, I see. We, we haven't been in there, haven't used any electric from whenever, I guess, the uh, strawberry fest was in the last time we was in there. Anyway. So when did they start using it, though? They was in there at strawberry fest time. Yeah, because yeah, they, they, they rushed to get it ready, to get in there. Okay. So you, you just had one bill of $83? We've been paying it all along. But nobody's they, they, been, they've been there since Strawberry Fest. No one's been using it. No one's been using it. It's been $83. Correct. Correct. Okay. Have you had a bill since they've been using it? It's uh, you know, we, um, we didn't meet the minimum, and I'm sure they're not going to meet the minimum either. Okay. If they're only using four times a month, they probably won't. Well, then I, whichever one of you guys said, if we've been, already been paying 83 yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's a thousand dollars a year. It's nine ninety six. We get them in the winter and they have tournaments or whatever, and they fire up the letter feeders. Now we're then. But again, that's only one day, maybe two then? days a month. That's not. That's not going to. That wouldn't still probably get it off the minimum, would it? Uh, I don't know but we're speculating off. about what could happen. We don't know. I think this year to let it ride. Then next year reevaluate what really happened. See what the expenses were, then we renegotiate with them. But we don't know what's going to happen. They may not have winter shoes. So let's not get too big to jump out of the boat here. Let's just let it see how it goes. If it was talking about $800 a month, yeah, we might be more considering 85 a month. It's not going to be a whole lot considering we have all of our bigger fish in the pan to fry on some other things. Yeah, but every, every little piece adds up. Boy, well, I've heard you say that for 22 years. I know that. And it does. <laughs> yeah. I'm not doubting goes, your word. Well, that goes without saying, but my, my opinion sort of is we readdress it um, maybe in six months and see what the bill's been running. Because if we've already been paying $83, and that's what we're still paying, and, yeah, it would have been good had that been in the contract, but it wasn't. Did we pay $83 even when they weren't in it? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's why when, when it was brought to the federal meeting, it was said to pay half. Because that's when we're still going to use the three-phase generator, or three-phase air compressor. Well, the minutes say partial. Say partial or half? Partial. Half, half off the partial. <laughs> <laughs> Is there, by next year, a way we can get out three-phase and get it down to just regular 220? I don't know. You're asking something. I don't know. But do we want to if we've got? You probably don't want to because we're, if we take it back, we want the three. Phase. I don't know. I mean, we, I'm not sure if you take the three phase off to get it back, you would have an electrician come in and, and put everything back code. I would assume. Is anybody else good with us looking at it in six months and just well, I mean, see what's going on then? It doesn't bother me as much knowing we were paying for it even if nobody was in there. We will pay it no matter what. That's had the building to use. Now we don't have it to use because it's the faster on So you don't have access to any of it? We park a truck in there. We, we, can't, we don't work on anything in there because of their equipment in there. Did you work on a lot of stuff over there? We kept tractors in there, the snow plows in there, the air compressor was going. Yes, we did work in there. Not to the extent that we go over here. Shut up. Where's that stuff now? Uh, the three snow piles, I think we've got them in the upper building. Uh, the dump truck is in the upper building. The two tractors are back at the sewer plant setting out, and the back of them back at the sewer plant setting out. Well, 
we don't have any other buildings over here that are all that we're using now. They're full. A lot of equipment. Do we need all of it? <laughs> Not time to downsize a little bit? Not yet. Huh? Not yet. Okay. Well, I'd ask. Well, should I make a motion that we look at this in six months and I don't take it from there? I don't know if you really need a motion. That's why I wonder if I need a motion or just say table consensus. it and we'll look at it later. We'll just go to the next item. Next item, first item under new business is award bid for black topping. We got two bids. We got two. Two? We got two. Can I ask who they're from or is that allowed? Uh, Scotty's. Yeah, Scotty's and Road Builders. Who's the other one? Road Builders down here in Lower County. That's Stowball. That's a great report. Are you familiar with that? I talked to him one day last week. Who was it? Yeah. I got a thing in the mail today in my mailbox from the asphalt paving company. Yeah, I think I did town. too. Yeah. I never heard of it. Orange card. Orange card. Yeah. Because I glanced at it and I was like, I, and, and I, it had a different number on it. Okay, uh, asphalt in place for the 2019 season. The quotas for asphalt in place, including street prep and tack coat, is as follows $79.90 per ton. This price does not apply to small quantity patching. Asphalt price is based on Kentucky Asphalt Index for the month of July 2019 of 527.86 per ton. Adjustments made accordingly based on monthly KAPI is published. Hmm. Is that on me? Scotty's. Have you have a Scotty's. What was it last year? Do you remember? Yeah, they used to be one to this thing. Bid for asphalt paving. Uh, as per your advertisement for bids, please find below our prices for asphalt paving city of Beaverdam. Ninety-five dollars asphalt service placed on roads, a continuous area using more than 100 total tons. One hundred and five dollars per ton asphalt service placed on roads, a continuous area using less than 100 total tons. Or sixty-two dollars a ton FOB Greenville plant. Y'all get a pay, we can wait for $62 a ton. I thought that if we had equipment, that'd be great, wouldn't it? What's that first thing? State garage. I'm sorry. You probably have to run it. Well, it's not like I hadn't run it before. <laughs> <laughs> so the low bidder is Scotty's at well, $79.90 for. That one you're talking about there, the, the second one, you're talking about 100 tons in a run. They said if it had to be 100 tons in a straight line. That is a lot of asphalt when you're you covered. Won't. We won't do that most times, will we? No. You know, he said, what he would tell me when we get into the patching, I said, we try to stay away from patching. I said, you know, ours, if we go into a street, we try to do the whole thing. I said, some of them may be 150 foot long, some of them may be 700 foot long. The Scotties is cheaper even for their long their long runs. Substantially. Okay, we have a motion and seconding. Further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Mary, I know you'll need this back. Next item is the water increase. Water surcharge, that's for the... The Maya Manor and the yeah. Village. The Village, when they come in, they wanted to have a two-inch meter the agreement that we had come before and they recorded the minutes was they're char being charged for 40 meters at surcharge to be the same as 40 units on a minimum bill. So we need to have that in the minutes too that their, their rate is going up as well. Is there anybody else besides those two? I think it's only two we did that. Because I had somebody recently asked me if that would be something that might be open to be done again. For a surcharge? To do this instead of having a bunch of individual meters. 
they're looking probably seven or eight, maybe ten individual meters, but combining it into one. But I told them I said it'd probably be something. I mean, it's the same money, though. Yeah, we'd have to consider yeah. something like this, I would think. But we'd bring it up. But okay, so we do need approval for this increase to. I make a motion to approve that. Second. Okay, we have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Those in favor of aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Mr. Bratcher, I'm going to start on this end. Come around. Okay. Chris, you have anything? No. David? Chody? Comments, questions, or no complaints? We don't hear any complaints. But. Go ahead. <laughs> don't be sharing your complaints with us. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Huh? No. Terry? Okay. We're ready. Yeah, go ahead. We're ready. Oh, we're almost done with our up. agenda. <laughs> you don't have to stand up. Yeah, you do have to spit, but you don't have to stand up. Amy, I'll be coming. What for? He will be giving. Okay. Anyway, I had to bring him the final, uh, you know, the stuff that there's a lot on the stage. Uh, but no, I just want to take a minute of y'all's time to. I don't know. I mean, I know there's been talk about the planning and zoning stuff, and, and I, I've talked to actually some of you guys before about needing to make some changes. And um, I'm just going to share with y'all my story about all this. Uh, and hopefully, convince you why we do need some changes, you know? I've had two pieces of property that I've been wanting to build two places and try places on. Uh, the first piece of property is on 5th Street. Now, I first come to you guys, I was still over there in another place. It was back in 2017 sometime, because that piece of property on 5th Street, I bought it from Barbara Burton. So that Burton was quiet. And Jimmy was working on that. He had it all done, except it never was recorded before he got sick and passed away. So I had to start all over on all that. Um, I took my first drawings on that to Nancy back in January of 2018. This piece of property that you know I brought all the description for tonight on Second Street, I took the original drawings for it back to Nancy in June of last year. So 18 months on one, 13 months on another. And you know, and don't get me wrong, I know it's not all Nancy's fault, but when we got to make changes, you know, I bring something in there and she said, well, we can't do that, we're going to have to do this. And I have to go get your own board involved to we'll do something else. And I bring it back and it gets shot down. Um, 18 months on the first property and I just got approved and stamped off, signed off on three weeks ago. Now, remind me again, wasn't that over an alley that doesn't even exist or something? Wasn't there was an alley on that? Yeah, it was we an alley we that deeded got, the alley. Yeah, we deeded the alley, and that's that's how it started, wasn't it? Yeah, and then yeah. there was another piece right up there along that borders over the line. Right. Um, but anyway, you know. Are we talking about Second Street or Fifth Street? Fifth Street. Now? Both of them together. Okay. Well, Both I mean, to get put. Yeah, well, what he would ask. The one I asked about was on Fifth, and then that's the one he's okay. been doing for 18 months, and then the other one he's Where been is doing. it on Fifth in relation right to like up, Suburban uh, Manor? Uh, before you get to Jerry Bradley's on the right. Yeah. Okay. There was a vacant lot, then the house yes. that burned was the next yes. lot up, yes. which is his too. But anyway, I mean, you know, I. I All this has done in the last 18 months has cost me a fortune that it didn't have to cost me. Um, because my drawing, which I have one right here, for both properties, there's not a single thing different on all the drawings than when I originally took them January and June of last year. Except one thing is one of the two places I t decided to turn around in a different direction. Still on the same spot of ground. But I just decided to turn it around. That's the only thing that's different. And I have spent a blooming fortune for Gerald Ward and running here and running there, and nothing's changed. It's still the same. 
Except, I mean, on second now, we're adding a little bit of piece of property because she said I didn't have enough land. And, you know, I just, uh, I done my homework. And I knew, and you know, one time I went in there and I said, well, we can't do this, we're going to have to do that. And uh, I went back and told Gerald, and Gerald called her, because I mean, and Gerald's man. And uh, she told Gerald that I didn't know, the, you know, the rules and regulations and all that. Well, I did know the rules and regulations. So I went back and I'll tell, I mean, Chris is a plot cop, I'll just tell him I trespassed on three different properties that I knew was not legal as far as your planning and zoning. And, I mean, the pens are still on the ground. Two of them built recently, duplex, triplex, another was a set of apartments. I measured it all, took pictures of it, went to Walmart, printed them out, come back to her office, and I said, you know, for your information, I do know the regulations, and I've done the homework. And I said, here's an example number one. And I put it on her desk, and I said, let's talk about that. And I would not stop until she admitted that it was wrong, that it was illegal according to the standards. And I've done number two, same thing. And we've done that for all three of them. And this was when I was trying to get everything lined up on the second. And I finally, I just told her, I said, okay, if I get this other little piece of property that you're wanting me to get, at that time, I'm going to be comparable to all the other big stories. And after that, there's not going to be any more arguing. Because if there is any more arguing, there's going to be 20 markers. I said, I don't spend a fortune on a surveyor, I can spend a fortune on a lawyer too. If I hadn't done that, I still don't think that we would be at this point today. And that is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it is. It's ridiculous. If, you know, if there was major big time changes or something, that'd be a different story. But there's not. And you know, like right now, what I got to get this piece of property that I'm trying to add over there on the second, you know, that you are giving up and going down barter, I'm still comparable with, I mean, one of them is so far illegal according to the standards that, you know, I just don't get it. And you know, it's like A.B., when I was in his office here a few weeks ago, he said, this must mean a lot to you. Well, it does mean a lot to me because this is my retirement for one thing. But another thing is, is after so many months into it, forget the business, it turned personal. Because you're not going to let somebody do something and not let me do it. And like I said, the one person, two of the three properties is owned by one person. And how he got by with it is beyond my imagination, especially one of them. Um, and I'll tell you exactly what it is up there behind are you sleeping those apartments around the Bradford's. there's 12 apartments there six on the front six on the back according to the rules and regulations you have supposed to have 51,000 square foot of land there's 32,000 square foot of land there how'd that happen i don't know did you ever present this to the planning and zoning board no i just didn't okay but you know, like I said, it, it, it's just, it caught, uh, 18 months, I could have done had two of these complexes done. That would have been six new water bills. That would have been about $300,000 worth of new property taxes. Y'all don't have nothing. I don't have nothing either. But it broke heel. <laughs> Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, some things have got to change. I mean, yes, I don't live in the city of Beaver Dam. I own six properties in the, six, in the city of Beaver Dam. And I love, I mean, Paul and Val Forty, anything we got going on downtown here, I'm here. I want to be Beaver Dam girl. But the first thing that needs to happen is you need to go in there and take that Lexington rule book and throw it in the garbage can. Because this is not Lexington, Kentucky, and never is it going to be. No. We've had that same conversation, mm -hmm. and you have to understand that we're kind of tied too because that is not Beaver Dam planning zone. That's here in Hartford, mm -hmm. and any changes got to be approved by both. Right. Uh, we are been well, in the process. How are you standing in that? When we're going to have them rewritten. How well, the end of that? that's still probably a little ways off. First thing we have to do is have the uh, comprehensive plan redone. 
which is actually countywide stuff that we have to do, and I think they've been working with the court on that. We have to have it done first to go back into the ordinances. But there have been some changes. We can require different ordinances in the city of Beaverdam than what they do in Hartford. Uh, but right now they're not. No, right now I think most everything's the same. So we have looked at working on it. We just have got to get the public hearings and things like that. We just haven't done it. I know, and like I said, I, I know I probably serve people walking from the commission A very good question. And my thing is, and, I, and I'm not speaking against Nancy, I'm not speaking against you, I'm not speaking against anybody. What you're trying to do down there is going to better the community. Mm -hmm. And see, that's my big thing. If it's something that's going to be improvement. an improvement, yeah, an improved, good word, improvement to our community, well, then I'm okay with it. And I don't understand, I understand you have to jump through hoops because I've had to do it too long <coughs> on what I own. But I also know that sometimes that that becomes more of a problem than the actual. You get to the point where you go, why am I even bothering doing this? Yeah. And uh, that's where we got uh, at one time, too. And I'm not saying for one minute all that time was Nancy's fault, but you know, it's like, I had to make changes. Or I had to make Gerald. I had to wait on Gerald. Well, also, you've had to wait 18 months for one property, 12 months for another, that you could have been doing something to the property. Like I said, I could have done that in six units, you know. To me, some I don't know why some of this stuff can't be done in two or three months. Why does it take? Or two or three weeks. I mean, come on. If you like well, I, I know, and I ask that question too, but I do know that sometimes you have to have the public hearings that it requires, and they have to be noticed 20 days before and not more than 21 yeah, days after. Months. But there's still yeah. two or three months. There's no reason for it to take longer than that. But here he is, and so where are you now? You got all your approvals now? You still don't Second Street hadn't been approved? Second Street? No, I had to. See, that's a whole other situation. You know, she was, kept saying I had to have more lands. I had to have more lands. So the city of the street, down the Barnard Street, they you know, talked about that. Yeah. Had a yeah. lot bigger easement than Oh, yeah. Did. Yeah, I remember and, which unit. Uh, that's what that's, I thought that was the old And then the alley, you know, Kevin had already took half of that alley and they all were going to do it. But Amy had to have the actual description of the new land he had. So therefore, I mean, we got it now. The AB's got to grow up to the T, but then I can get my own improvement on that. So you're pretty close. Pretty close. Did they give you any kind of a timeline? What's Did they give you any kind of a timeline as to will AB and getting no, every, um, everything finalized? Well, without that alley, what kind of square footage did you have? Ballpark. Well, short, yes. but, well, but I mean, are you that much short? I guess what I'm trying. I know that's what I'm trying to ask in a tactical way. I guess. I know I've been down. I know how we're placing them, and it's it's only an improvement. Well, well I, I mean, saw them. The, to give you a prime example, you know, okay. I own, if you guys know where I own, the store building. From home to Third Street, my whole half a block is 51,000 square foot. That's what the old apartments up there are supposed, supposed to be. Sit. And I hated your have trouble, I really did. And that day she looked it up. I mean, under uh, yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I just say it. And that's what I say. No disrespect to any of y'all. I mean, 
Our stuff was broken in long before some of y'all was here. I mean, just had maybe. <laughs> Ouch. No, you just. I don't hold him. Hey, you're second <laughs> command behind him on, on the time being. 22 years, yeah, you might be. Yeah, Carter. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the we fought plans on it. I mean, literally, Ouch. over some modern things like that that made no sense. Yeah. Until we get the ordinance changed, which is going to have to happen. It's going to have to. So we're going to work on that. Fought it down on that trailer on First Street forever. Forever. Well, I don't mean to put you on the spot. Will you be willing to help us? I wasn't going to ask you here in front of everybody, but <laughs> I think everything he's See, already you come done. To the meeting, look what happens to you. you get stuck well, with I think everything that you've already done proves that you want to get a solution. <laughs> oh yeah, but I'm yeah. talking about for even for future. Yeah, I didn't yeah. sound rude about that. You didn't. While, you didn't. Did no, you didn't sound rude you know, at all. One of us go in and somebody go in and I'm hurt. <laughs> go play, might as well win, right? <laughs> Well, I don't know if it's a win or lose thing, but it ends up being a lose thing for all parties involved. Yeah. For the city of Beaverdam not having those improvements and well, I mean, that's for you not already you having. Know, when, I, when I was in business before, I always wanted to go to places and stuff when you're going to come up with any land. Those. I mean, I originally started back in the construction business in 93. And back then, there wasn't no places to live in Beaverdam, but there's no way. I mean, there's always somebody looking for a place to rent. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could do something which I got four houses. I could do something on Facebook to rent and then I earn. I got four comments. Well, we appreciate your patience and appreciate you coming to us. And, and like I said, I know where you're at, so I'll put you to work. As long as you got a chair to push me in. I can do that. <laughs> I'll talk to you. We'll get that started. We might just have to do some of this stuff in conjunction because I know the plan was. The oh, I know. Just jump over everybody. Like, you know, yeah, hey, I remember the meeting all too well. So, sometimes we do but that. I, I mean, I've but heard of doing one of the changes to Article 2, right? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, I think, yeah, it's... A little simpler. Maybe I should have said A little simpler. Yeah. yeah. But, and I know some, some of the stuff they've talked about in Hartford may be a little different than some of the ideas we have over here, but that can be done. They can be separate. They don't have to be the same for both right. communities. That I do know. I mean, I'm not saying Right. But our, our plan, or the plan in the zoning's intention was to try to get the comprehensive plan completed, which is probably going to take about a year, and then start looking at the ordinances. We may need to have to just do some stuff in conjunction with and at the same time have. You know, what was applicable back in the 50s and 60s is not applicable now. Well, what was applicable in Lexington is not applicable here. He has a very good point, and I had an issue with that when we built our house in that whole subdivision. Were you there with the city when that? I'll never forget the planning and zoning administrator at the time coming to coming to me, and he gave us a cease and desist order because we weren't putting sidewalks in that subdivision. I remember that. And I'm like, I forgot about that. It goes to Jerry Amos's driveway. And, and I basically told him, I said, I'll put a sidewalk in when I can walk on it all the way to Main Street. And then he gave me this big thing about how we'll never get anything changed if people like you don't come in and start following the rules. <laughs> and the, the mayor at the time was very good. His attitude was, we ordinance it in, we can just ordinance it out. And I'm like, well, that's not really what we need to do. We need to fix it. But mm -hmm. Well, my opinion on this is you guys work together and tell us what we need to do. Well, like I said, I guess last I'm time speaking when we had a situation else. like this, we ended up voting on ourselves. We took it on ourselves and we just said, you know, hey, but if And if that's what we need to do, I And, I, and we I did that. And so that's what I say. It'll get done. It may just not 
you may have to jump through another hoop, but it might be with us instead of with our. Well, it sounds like though his is taken care of, but what I'll we've got to look at is for future. Future, because we want to be pro development. We need the development. We need progressive. I have people tell me all the time they don't like it because I say we're not the small town we used to be, but you're either going forward or you're dying. There is no just standing still and staying in the same place. It just doesn't but happen. But we are still a small town. I know. We are. I thought so. But yeah, I, I do get like that quite a bit. Build a bypass around. If damn it's so stinking, traffic's getting so bad. Go no, 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 no. You don't want you don't want to take traffic out of your downtown. I know. I, I just hate it. Though. You just want to slow it down. You just want to yeah, slow it down. Right, don't you don't wrong. have to worry it's about that. Right you you want to you want to slow the traffic downtown. down, and then you have to fight with the state to do that because they want to speed it up. I'm a big downtowner. I grew up downtown. <laughs> like I appreciate the interstate, but let's keep yeah. the traffic that's here. Mm. <laughs> okay. Sandy, you have anything? No, not really. Just a question I forgot to ask you before. Do you know if they ever got the rest of the blacktop on Trey Court? No, that is, that is a base coat. And before that sewer line had settled, uh, he recommended sitting there for a year before anything else was done. A year? Just yeah, to make sure, always to make sure there's no more settlement. Anytime you dig, you always I was going to drive by there before I came and I forgot about it. But that's. Uh, so. I went out there and looked at him like, oh, okay, I see what they did now. They just well, when I drove out there and looked at it, I was like, what? <laughs> Well, if you okay. got out and looked at it, it's it's a it's a coarser surface. I could get out and look at it, and I'd say, "Well, it looks like blacktop to me." It is. It is. Charles. No, I'm good. If I got anything, I'll let you know later. I don't have anything right now. Kevin. I got a couple three things. I got one. When was the last time we raised water rates in the city of Beaverdam? It was 2014. I'd have to go get the rate study when Andy Lane done them. See the 14 or we had 15. A lot of, I think it was posted. And you saw it. Didn't oh, you yeah. guys report? Uh, the people complaining, was? and I was like, Yeah. Do you think we can just keep it the same forever? OC Monitor, I think, reported when the last one It was, was. 2014, was that right? When the last that's time it was raised? I don't know if that's what I thought. I thought it was 15. Yeah. Well, it might have been 15. 14 it was 15. in that neighborhood, 14, 15. And I can't believe the backlash we got. And the people, did you notice the people, and I hate to say this, because I'm saying this. You guys on the TV. Either. I thought they'd be here tonight. They told me they were coming tonight, well, but they're not did here. Did you notice most of them don't live in Beaverdam? That's what got me. Did you most of the people that were commenting don't live in Beaverdam? And I did not understand that. And it bothered me. And I thought, we haven't raised rates for at least four years. If it's 2015, it'd be four years. And they're griping and complaining like there's no more. And I'm like, good grief, people. I think if you remember when Andy Lane presented it, there were two rates we could have went with. And we took the lesser of the two. Exactly. You know, and chemical prices have gone up, uh, employees' wages have gone up, trying to update equipment, trying to be proactive on getting more water, our own water source, you know, by drilling a new well. You know, it, it just costs. Well, yeah. I, well, I was, that's, I was hoping people yeah. would be here. Everything They're not going to yeah. come. They're gonna, that, they can get on social I mean, media and talk about I it better than they can sure come what, in. what it was for the exact year because I, there's one person on there. I'm going to send them a nice little letter. And explain to them. Well, they got down to the tax issue too. Yeah, their their taxes just went up and up, and I'm like, I don't know what plan we're on. It drifted from that, that to hmm? finally, I think it was deleted. I know, but they don't agree with that. I'm wrong. Also, uh, was there supposed to be y'all? I'm assuming this is true. There was there supposed to be a plaque at the amphitheater for the Western Kentucky Architectural Department or something who helped design that place. We had talked about it. It's just we haven't got everything done yet. Yeah. They, well, I mean, is, is that was that a true? Is a true statement? We were going to try to do something to say thank you or thank you. Uh, I would like to do something, but yeah. it's just not been Figured. followed through on yet. Okay. And the last thing is, saying I talked about this earlier, was the monument at Oldham. Can we get some crazy glue down there or something? And we put it up. You put it up <laughs> twice already? Three times. Three times now? I guess we'll get a hold of Croon's Monument. I think if there's any work with the best. Or I shouldn't say the best. They're, they're real helpful. Or Rose Hill and see if they have some type of appeasement to. If not, let's just stick some stakes around some steel poles down there and hold yeah, it in place. Kind of that would look tacky. I, you know what? If it keeps But it almost looks better it than it being laying over all the time. Well, I've heard they could drill. That marble and they put a steel rod up inside the top and through the base. Well, that makes sense, but I'm afraid they'll just knock it over anyway. Or break the so or break, 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 break the monument. Break the monument. But it, it is it is aggravating because I knew you'd put it up twice and and I was really 
I didn't know you'd done it three times, and I'm just, I just don't understand why people think they have to. Use and that them. yellow, that yellow protective tile over the outfield fence, we put it on a couple of times. I guess it's just stretched out. And we're fixing to peel it off and throw it away. They're trying to put it on the next wind. It's just half Go off, on. and it just. All right, that's all I have was those three things. Okay. Larry. Uh, yes. Uh, one thing that I had Sandy pass out to everybody there. Okay. Uh, it stopped with me. Sorry. Well, I didn't know what it was. I didn't give him the memo to pass. take one and pass uh, it. I didn't give you the, the pay The pay scale and our personal policy uh, with raises coming into effect, we're out of whack on some of them. Uh, we had to add the fire chief in because we didn't have it. We probably didn't actually need to have a, uh, a duty list for him, too, as well, to put in our personal policy. So we just need to approve this? Uh, Make the motion to approve it. Second. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify by the aye. Opposed, uh, same. Motion passes. And the only other thing I had was probably we talked today about maybe looking at maybe putting tariff on open street cut. Yeah. Uh, we're having problems with issues with people if they have a problem with a either a drain line or a sewer line and they have to replace it cutting into the streets even some newly blacktop streets they've had to cut to get to the and then they just go off and the, ends up being the city having to fix it so Larry and I have talked and I don't know if, and you may have done more research on this to know if we can get something where put up a bond or something the individual to make sure that if the streets cut to fix their line it's their responsibility they need to fix the street back. Uh, you know, we've got some issues. I know in some of the alleys up here where some of it was sewer. And one of them was was it a, both of them sewer. Or was one of them a both roof sewer. drain both. sewer. And now it's causing a lot of other problems because the rock, the gravel that was put back in, is just washing out and going into the storm drain and blocking it up and causing flooding back through there. And I don't personally, I don't feel that it's all the the rest of the taxpayers in the city of Birmingham's responsibility to repair a street that someone had to have to cut up to fix their sewer line. Yeah, well, so it's an individual fixing their sewer line. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, it's, it's $800, $800 to $1,000 fix every time. But they're, not, they're fixing it on our city street, not on their yard. If but, it, but it's their private line that comes off our main. But it's still, we own the right-of-way on that. They don't. So they're actually on our property, not theirs. They should be required to fix it. Hmm. Because, like you say, that's taxpayers' money that being spent that only one person's getting any use of. Well, I mean, everybody that goes over the pothole is going to get use of it, but I mean, you know, you're fixing it for one person. Basically. How often has this happened? That's what Paul asked me the day. I, I would say 12 to 15 times a year. Yeah. You know, so again, consistently. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's all over okay. Like the cut we, they made up there on Mulberry when they cut across to, to put in the new duplexes, is that would that be considered one of them? That'd be one of them. Gosh, I wish they'd fix that. The one, there's two of them on Beller Drive. Well, Mulberry Street's supposed to be. Charles, where Charles goes to church, there's two houses. You know. And that leads to another question, talking about Mulberry, because that's one of our streets we're going to fix this year. So would we go ahead and... Well, this is not in place, so... This would be new for... Be, yeah. From this point forward. Yeah. You have to patch it before you pave it anyway, though. You need that actually yeah, you can't now. just. It, it needs good compaction. You have to have two separate. Don't have two separate feet for those that cut for a sewer. May only use like half to from center line to the property. More than likely, those at the drain going all the way across the street going to be a separate Correct. cost fee. So you're going to come with two, with center line to, to the edge or the whole street. Well, a lot of. Of course, a lot is going to depend on where your sewer line's at. Some of them's right down the middle of the street. Some's off to one side or the other. And some, we have some places it's not even under the street. Right. So if you're on the opposite side of the street, you're cutting all the way across. That's what they did on one They cut all the way across. Mm -hmm. And some go down the back of your property, and you have to go through somebody else's yard to get to it. How many times does that happen when they're done and gone? And you don't even know it. The local plumber, Kevin, he knows the files every time. He's, he's very, very good to work with. You know, and it's, and it's our policy that if there's an open cut, just like on the Barrel on Miller Drive today, he called and said, you know, we've got the street cut, so we supply the rock and fill it back up. 
Because if, if, if we wasn't do that, doing that, they can fill a half up of dirt. I wondered about that. And a half of rock, and then you're really going to have settlement. Yep. So, you know, we, we supply 100% of the rock that goes back in the street. And I don't think that needs to change. I think we still should do that. That way we know it's yeah. done properly. Can you get some information from other communities on what they do if they if they do a bonding process or how they do it? Uh, yeah. And we can check with. I know I know the water district has has, has something in place because Walt had talked about it several years ago. I'll, I'll start with him. Because it does benefit one person, but it affects a lot of people. Yeah. Because yeah. every day when I leave school, if I go that way, I'm thinking, when's this ever going to get fixed? <laughs> I don't want to talk to that street commissioner. <laughs> no, it's, I'd get Larry Carter out there. <laughs> when are you going to fix this, Larry? <laughs> are you have anything else? Mary? <laughs> I don't have anything to say. Seriously? That's starting. You have one or two things. Not tonight. Entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. <laughs> Second. Second. Whatever it is. Um, we will try, uh, hopefully, in the next couple weeks, to we'll start on the new playground. Got oh, is it here? Yeah. Yeah, we've had it for what? Two weeks. Just timing rain. I can't imagine why you hadn't thought this rain yeah. you hadn't got that done. Yeah.